Alright guys, so I'm going to try to do a video today about um, two feeding day old kittens. So, I couldn't find any feline colostrum, so we're going to be using this, which is not necessarily recommended. Um, but, instead of doing the half a cup, I did little under half a cup, and then a, just a full bottle of uh, water. And I always try not to use sink water. Um, just the purified water is what what I try to stick with. Also, you want to have some mineral oil and a thermometer. Um, of course, I'm sure y'all know where I'm going with that to take temperature and make it less uncomfortable. And then we'll be using three and a half you, it's a two feeder or catheter people call it different things uh, you can get them on Amazon honestly I can't remember the exact price but uh, not too expensive um, let's see what else uh, oh definitely you always want to take their weight so you know um, how much to feed them and you never want to feed a try to feed a cold kitten always try to get them warm first that's the first step course lots of disinfecting keep your hands clean clean your supplies not with peroxide but but uh, maybe a mild soap and water clean your supplies between feedings if you're not lucky enough to have more than one feeding tube um, and then um, always record your like how much they weigh and temperature all that good stuff stuff like that um just it helps with feeding time to know what to feed them so um clayton you want to hand me the first kitten remove this so these kittens are about um they are about three three two three three ounces uh so we are going to be feeding them. You're welcome. Thank you. Three ounces of the formula. But first, before you just go into feeding, you need to measure your feeding tube or catheter. And I do this by just kind of, they're still kind of dirty. Uh, my main concern was getting warm and now getting fed something. Um, you can do this by measuring from the mouth, kind of stretch you out there a little one, from the mouth to right, right there, kind of below, in the middle of the rib, in the middle of the, yeah, right there. So you want to, <laughs> I know baby, I know sweetie. Let's see if we can do it like this. So you want to, you know, just get a good idea and you can, you can mark it, you know, you can mark it with a marker. I use a band-aid so when I disinfect, um, I just check it off throw it away. I can disinfect real easy. Um, so, okay. Uh, I think that's everything. Let me disinfect one more time because I'm touching on everything. All right, so here we go. So it's pretty much uh, one mil per ounce of kitten. And you always wanna, you always wanna test it. it should be just like for a baby. You don't want it too hot, or it will burn them. So that's perfect. Now, we're going to push this catheter on there, and then you want to push it until you see the milk drip. I don't know if you saw that drip, but you certainly don't want to get air in there. So, all right, little one. So, I always lay them on their side. 
doing this for y'all can see hopefully and just go in from the side just real gentle they'll swallow just real gentle baby I know you had no idea what's going on huh just take your time because if you hit the wrong it, it, they'll let you know if you hit the wrong one. so there it is to the kitten's lip So now just <laughs> hold on darling it's kind of a little tough to do with this one huh you're like i don't know what's going on here so you just want to push a little bit and make sure none comes out of the nose oh i know you were like what in the world so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this one yummy yummy and just don't go too fast, you know, just a little, just slow and steady. Yummy, yummy, huh? Like I said, if you were, if it wasn't in the right place, most of the time it doesn't even go down the tube. But of course, you always know if they're, it's in their airways by, um, bubbles or milk coming out. Now I pinched the tube. And there we go. This baby's got a full belly for now. And a full belly for now, huh baby? Sweet baby. Alright, and then of course you need cotton balls. You're usually supposed to do it before and after every feeding, but since um these babies that we know of haven't had anything. Um, and then just gent gently. And it's tinkling a little bit. Just gently on the private areas. And see this baby. It's yellow. So this baby's a little dehydrating. But um, after they start doing a little bit better, then, of course, you take a dry one. You don't want to leave them too wet. After they start doing better, then I will worry about, goodness, then I will worry about um, getting them more cleaned up. But um, that's, that's how you do that. And you can do that with... Pretty much any animal, I guess. Uh, not birds and stuff, of course. But like cats and dogs, we do it for the bobcat. <laughs> Most important thing is keeping them warm and keeping yourself sanitized because you are their mama or daddy and uh, you gotta protect them from germs and stuff because they don't have, they don't have an immune system yet. <laughs> So, all right, well, I'm gonna put this little guy away and disinfect my stuff and myself again and move on to the next kitty cat. Thanks for watching, guys.